So here's a look at my site that I've created using the steps that I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video. Now you might be looking at this site right now and thinking, wow, Brendan, like this site looks pretty cool. But what if I told you that you could create a site that's very similar to this one in the next 45 minutes? So the first step of creating a website is getting a domain name. My favorite site to get this from is a site called Name Silo. It's my favorite site because I find that it has very reasonable prices, some of the lower prices I've seen for domain names, and it's incredibly reliable. The next step is just to pick a domain name. You wanna pick something that is relevant to what your website's gonna be about. So in this example video, I'm gonna pick the domain name Simple to Build. A search of this domain name shows that the .com is already taken, but all the other domain extensions are still available. Now some of us are gonna want .coms no matter what because we think that they look cooler, but the reality is, is that your domain extension is gonna have absolutely no impact on your search engine rankings. So if you feel comfortable with .net and .org, they're perfectly good options. One of the advantages for using Name Silo is that they throw in this who is privacy for free. A lot of other services charge you as much as the domain name for this service. So it's kind of a cool add-on to get this bundled in for free. On the next page, you just pick which payment option you wanna use. But don't get all freaked out because this actually works out to be around 75 cents per month, pretty darn cheap. So now we have our domain name, which is pretty cool, but it's not gonna show up unless we have hosting. So we need to get hosting for our domain. The best hosting service that I've ever used is a site called HostGator. If you do a simple Google search, you'll be able to find this, but it's probably the best known hosting service out there. So to get started with HostGator, you just click on the Get Started Now button. Then you click on choose a plan. When you get to the three plan options, you'll notice you have the hatchling plan, baby plan, and business plan. You wanna pick one that's best for your needs, but I would recommend in most cases that you end up getting the baby plan. Because with this package, you get to have unlimited domains and unlimited space. So with the hatchling plan, it's only a little bit cheaper and you're limited to that only that one domain. Now, of course, there is an additional option, which is the business plan, but for most cases, the business plan is unnecessary and more expensive than you need to go for. After you click on this sign up now button, HostGator is gonna take you to a page to fill in your information. Now, this is all pretty straightforward and the price is decent, but there's one important thing to note here because you can actually get an even better price. And that's when you go down to the bottom here and it says enter a coupon code. If you enter the coupon code, get 25 off your bill. So make sure you take note of that, that get 25 off your bill. You'll actually get 25% taken off the cost of your order. So when you actually use this coupon code, you'll have an exceptionally good price for your hosting. Excellent. So now that we have our HostGator hosting, they're going to send us a welcome message where they're going to give us our account information, okay? Now, they're gonna give you the login details, but they're also gonna tell you what the name servers are. Now, name servers is really geeky talk, but what it really means is where are our websites gonna be hosted, on what server? So we need that information so that we can go to Name Silo and we can actually connect our domain to our HostGator hosting. So you wanna actually copy this, and I know it's not the most like fancy um, entertaining thing to do in the world. It's kind of like boring geek stuff, but it only takes about a minute to do this. So you wanna copy this, the first name server, head over to your name silo account, select your domain and click on change name servers. Now I already did this behind the scenes, so it's already filled in for me, but typically this wouldn't have this server information in here, right? So you'd actually wanna come in here and paste in your name server information from that email that HostGator sent to you. So name server one goes in name server one, and then name server two goes into name server two. Then when you're done, you click on this submit button, and you have officially at this point connected your domain name to your HostGator hosting. So now the only thing that we have left to do is to install WordPress. To do that, you wanna go back to your HostGator welcome email and click on your control panel. Once you are in your hosting control panel, you just want to click on this Get Started with WordPress Today button. 
Then you just have to follow a few simple steps and then you'll have your own WordPress software running in the next few minutes. Now I get asked all the time, how expensive is WordPress? What does it cost? WordPress is 100% free, okay? WordPress.org is completely free. The only things that you need to pay for is your HostGator hosting and then your domain name both of which are very cheap. So this whole thing ends up costing you about $5 per month. Now when you set up your WordPress site for the first time, it's gonna be blank with just sort of a staple post here, a staple comment, and then a theme already inbuilt into it. There are gonna be some modifications that we're 100% going to have to do here. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is delete these posts, because they're just junk posts that WordPress is leaving here as an example of where you would put posts. So we're just gonna trash that one. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna pick our WordPress theme. Now to pick our WordPress theme, you go down on this left sidebar here and you go down to where it says appearance, okay? And then when you get to that appearance on the sidebar, then you switch over here to where it says themes. Now click on that themes button. Now with WordPress themes, you have a couple options. So your first option is you could stay with the theme that they give you to begin with, which I really do not recommend because there's lots of websites on the internet that use this theme because it's the standard one included in WordPress, right? When you install it. So it is recommended that you change it. So you have a couple options. First of all, you could click on this wordpress.org themes at the top here in our theme section. And that's gonna give you a lot of different free choices. So if you're on a budget or you don't wanna spend barely any money, you only ever really wanna spend that $5 per month for your hosting, then you can pick one of these free themes and a lot of them run pretty well, okay? But you gotta remember that you really, in a lot of cases, get what you paid for. So by no means do you need to buy a premium theme, but most premium themes are gonna run better, they're gonna look cooler, and they're gonna have more functionality to them. So I'm gonna share with you the WordPress theme that I use for brennanmace.com, and then I'm gonna show you a really awesome tool that will help you find out what all the cool looking websites that you like on the internet, what theme they're actually running. So brennanmace.com uses a WordPress theme called Magazine Pro, and it's by a developer called StudioPress. Now StudioPress is really popular. They put out some really quality stuff, but their themes are not cheap. So I'm gonna say right at this point in time, if you're not ready to commit a good amount of money on a WordPress theme, then you can find a really good theme for cheaper price than this one. So I by no means recommend that you have to get this theme. So the theme that I use right here, it's, see it's the Magazine Pro theme. And when you go to Studio Press, it's gonna cost you about $100, I believe, for your first Studio Press theme. And then if you decide to get more themes from Studio Press, then it's only about 20 or $30 for each additional theme after that. So at the Studio Press website here, you click on Shop for Themes, and on here you can see my theme, Magazine Pro, is gonna be on the list here pretty quickly. There it is right there. You can see the image is the exact same as the one that I'm hosting in my brennanmace.com website. And now if we click on the uh, See Details and Pricing here, you can see that it costs 100 bucks. So that's a little bit on the pricey side for a lot of us. Um, I can tell you that this is a really, really cool theme. I'm glad that I personally got it, uh, but you can get themes for cheaper. And you would be surprised, some of the more well-known bloggers out there uh, with websites have put out some really cool stuff. So you may have noticed by now, I did a guest post uh, a couple months ago on Matthew Woodward's website, and I'm a big fan of Matthew Woodward's blog. Um, Matthew Woodward's blog is actually using a theme that's cheaper than Magazine Pro. So I'm going to show you now this tool that you can use uh, that's freely available to use that will allow you to see what themes, what WordPress themes websites are using. So the tool that I'm talking about, it's called What WordPress Theme Is That? So if we go to Google here, we'll go to the search engine for Google and we'll click on What WordPress theme is that, okay? Now if we Google search that, we're gonna get this free tool that's available online by a website that looks just like this. All you have to do is enter your address in here 
and it's going to tell you exactly what theme each website is running. So if we take Matthew's website here and we copy that, so I just copied his address and I paste it into this free tool, it's going to give me information about what theme he's using. Okay, so it tells me right away that his theme is from my theme shop. So if I go to that website, I can actually buy the exact same WordPress theme that Matthew uses for his website. But even better, this free tool also includes a lot of really cool extra stuff here. It also tells you some of the WordPress plugins as well. So it also tells me a couple of the plugins that Matthew's using for his website. I'm going to show you how this works with my website so that you can see that this works here. And then it's a really cool 100% free tool that you can use. So see, I just typed in my website here and it says WordPress theme detected is called Magazine Pro. So it's gathered from my website what my theme is and then it's sharing information about the WordPress plugins that I'm using. And I can tell you it's done a pretty darn accurate job. If I go to my site, my homepage here, I have this social box here and I get a lot of people that ask me all the time like, what is this? How did you get this to list your YouTube subscribers, your Twitter followers, and all your followers across your social networks, right? And every time I say it's this social box, but they could have found out a lot sooner and you could find out without even asking me just by plugging my website in because it's going to give you the information about what my plugins are anyways, right? So here's all the other plugins uh, that it has listed. Now there's one thing to bear in mind with this tool. Although this is a really cool tool and it's worth knowing about, what WordPress theme is that is not flawless. It's not gonna list all the WordPress themes that a website's using. And I can say 100% that that Matthew site that we were just looking at, he uses way more plugins than the two that were listed. And I use more than the eight that are listed here. So this tool is not perfect but lots of times it can get you some really good information about what are these blog owners doing or website owners doing? What are they doing with their setup? How are they setting up their site, right? So if you have a particular website that you think looks really cool uh, and it's run by WordPress, you can pop that site into this what WordPress theme is that tool. And in a matter of a few minutes, you can create a website that's really similar by using the same WordPress theme. Okay, so before I wrap up the video, I have a couple of really basic setup things to go over really quickly. And then I have a free giveaway that I'm gonna be giving to everybody watching this video. So the basic setup things, you wanna go to settings here and you wanna click on permalinks. So on that left sidebar for the WordPress sidebar there, you hover over settings and then you go to permalinks. Now this is really important. Because by default, every time you add a new post or add a new uh, piece of content to your website, it's gonna have this after the simple to build, right? So when you have a new page, it's gonna say page one, page two, but it looks really ugly. It doesn't look very professional, and a lot of people are gonna take you less seriously when they see this. So the better option is to go down here and click on post name. So now when we add a new post to our website or we add a new page to our website, it's going to have symbol to build.net domain name address. And then after that, it's going to have the name of the post. It's going to look a lot better. So we're going to click on save changes after we've selected that post name. And then we have one more feature to go to uh, before I get to the giveaway. So the next thing I want to switch here is to go to general, okay? So when you go to the settings and general, it's gonna ask you for your site title. Now this is a little bit important because whatever you have as your site title is gonna show up in your tab at the top of your website. So you don't want people to go to your website and see this my site WordPress here, right? And then just another WordPress slogan in the search engines. So you wanna go here and switch your site title to whatever you want it to be called, right? So in this case, I'm going to be calling it simple to build. And I'm going to say how to build websites quick and easy. And then that's all we have to do for this page is just switch those two things and then go down to save changes. 
Now the next thing that we're gonna do, the last thing we're gonna do before we get to the giveaway is an optional setting. So when you click on reading here in the settings and reading button, when we click on that button, we'll be taken to this page and it's asking us what we want to show up on our home page. So by default, it's going to list your latest posts. So this is what makes it a WordPress blog, but you can very easily turn this into a WordPress website. When I've done tutorials in the past, I've had people that have commented and complained and said, Brendan, you said you're going to teach us how to build a website and you shared with us how to build a blog. Well, this is literally a 10 second change, my friend. So if you would prefer to have a blog, you leave it on the setting that it's on. But if you want to turn it into a website, you click on this a static page button here, and then you select which page you want to be the home page. So we would build a home page in our pages and then we would select that page here. So I've set up a little bit of a giveaway here where I'm going to be listing the WordPress plugins that I use for my website. I'm going to be giving away some website graphics as well as some other mystery bonuses that I'm going to have when you go to this page, this giveaway page. So to get access to this giveaway page, there's going to be a link in the description below this video in the YouTube description there. I'm also going to have a link to this giveaway in the top right of the video. So that's really all we need to cover to get a very basic setup of a WordPress website. Now in part two of this video series, I'm going to be taking our basic website and I'm going to put it on steroids with some tricks of the trade and another giveaway for people watching my videos. So as always, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.